Now, many parents think that uh, when their children are 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that they come and often come and tell me, this child is something is wrong with him or her, and uh, for the past uh, year and year and a half, I'm not able to manage this child at all. And Allah and madam, but this is how he's unmanageable. I can't uh, understand what he's up to. This is I always tell them. This is the and uh, the age between the ages of 12 and 18 and in some instances people have also said it extends up to the age of 21 is a very difficult period for young children for the simple reason that their brains are undergoing a lot of change during this period. Now maturation of the brain and the functions actually happens from the back of the brain to the front of the brain. The front of the brain, fortunately or unfortunately, is the part of our brain which is important for intellectualizing anything, for judgment, for inhibition, for understanding what is the right choice to make from any, uh, any incident or any event and telling us, look, if you do this, you can come to harm. If you do that, it's beneficial to you. So the reward system, the risk system, all of this is sitting in the front of the brain or in the frontal lobes. And it is this part of the brain which undergoes tremendous change during the teenage years. And so actually we think that the child is difficult, we think that the child is intentionally defying us or rebelling against us. It's just that the child is himself or herself very confused. And we are confused by their behavior, but actually we need to stop and think. Is this something that I need to look at positively or should I punish the child for all the trouble he or she is giving me? And if you look at it positively, you will understand that it's actually a cry for help. It is a period when the child is asking, look here, I'm not sure which is the right way to go. Take my hand, lead me through this, guide me through this. And so we need to go down to their level and understand what is actually happening with them. And if we make an attempt to ask the right questions, show the right amount of empathy, and this doesn't mean you let them run loose. They can't be defiant and destructive and uh, abusive and run loose because our ultimate intention is to make this child grow up into a healthy, normal, well-behaved adult who will blend well with society. We just need to understand that a lot of what they are doing is not intentional and that literally they can't help themselves. And so we should be around there to be offer that support and let them feel that we are friends. But at the same time, in, there has been an article some time ago that being a mummy or a daddy is far more important than being a friend. So they must know that there are some boundaries when it comes to mother and father, that there are boundaries that they have to stick with them. But these boundaries should not be like barbed wires. The boundaries should be, if you want, just like arms protecting the child and saying, look, don't go beyond that, you'll fall into an abyss. So I think if we just take the trouble to understand all that's happening inside the teenage brain, we will be better off, we will be less stressed, the teenager will be less stressed, and at the end of the day, we'll help them to grow into very sensible adults, which most of them actually grow into. And we just need to understand how to manage this.